In this video, we're going to take a look at the Langchain CSV agent to compare the zero shot react agent type with the uh, open AI function agent type. Now, the CSV agent that we are going to uh, play with, it's pretty much interchangeable with this pandas data frame agent. And if we look at the code uh, right here, um, all we're doing is we're just going to um, run our query uh, using these two different agent types. And we're looking at a CSV of SEO keywords that has search volume, keyword difficulty, I think uh, cost per click in there as well. Uh, but the main difference between these two agent types is with the zero shot react, I, th I think we're using the open AI completions model. I think Da Vinci maybe. Um, and then over here with the uh, open AI function agent type, we're using the chat model or one of the chat models, uh, GPT 3.5 turbo 16k edition so let's take a look at a few uh, examples of queries here uh, let's pull this up here so what keywords have the highest search volume and lower than average difficulty um, so here the zero shot react agent uh, thinks has a thought all right i need to find the keywords with the highest search volume and lower than average difficulty uh, action it calls this tool and uh, comes up with this particular query or yeah this query that matches you know what we're looking for now the the final answer that it produces is uh, found in row in the 146 rows of the data frame so this isn't useful to us at all um, and what this means is that we probably would have had to use a a better uh, a better query to get specifically um, the keywords as a result. Even though I say what keywords, it still didn't give me the keywords. Now the OpenAI functions uh, looks like it, it pretty much invoked the same tool and uh, the same query. However, there's a much more intelligent response. Um, and so it gives us a list of keywords that have uh, a higher search volume and lower than average difficulty. Um, then, you know, says, and many more. Now, uh, another question to uh, compare here is what keywords should we focus on first? Now, the zero shot react uh, comes to the conclusion that we need to look at data to see which keywords have the highest search volume which is a pretty uh, rudimentary uh, approach. However, I think it's tuned to always try to come up with uh, some sort of query. And uh, so it gives us a, an answer with a few keywords that have a high search volume. Um, and then our open AI functions, however, it doesn't give us that. Instead, it gives us um, uh, a more verbose uh, LLM generated response to, you know, what should we focus first? But it also comes to the conclusion that the data frame provided doesn't have all of the necessary columns to best evaluate this, <clears throat> specifically the competition column. Um, the, the other columns exist. So, uh, this I would take this as as feedback to say, all right, let's go back to the uh, to the data frame and make sure we have a competition column, and then try it again to see uh, what it comes up with. So uh, basically, you know, if you can, if you can experiment, uh, try both for your use case. But the OpenAI functions is a, a little bit more intelligent in terms of the response generated. Um, and it will first consider whether or not it should do a query on your data or whether it should generate a LLM based response. Hopefully you find this video useful. Um, if you want to see an example where we use multiple agents uh, within a chat bot, um, particularly uh, specifically a vector store agent and an SQL agent, um, I've got an example of that as well, which I'll share in the next video. Peace.